What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're gonna be finishing off the M3 and after that, taking it on its first test drive. Stay tuned. So if you saw the car before, it was really slammed. So I went ahead and raised the ride height all the way around. Now I am just a little bit too high in the front because I want the fender line right here to sit right on top of the tire. As you can tell, I'm a little bit high, but I think I nailed it in the rear. This is what I'm looking for in the front. That fender line is sitting right on top of that tire and the wheel fills up the whole wheel arch. That's the look I'm looking for. So I need to raise it back up, you know, lower it back in, try it again, see if I can nail it the second time. And from there, we still have to test out the headlights. And I have a lip kit I want to mount on the front bumper cover. And then from there, just the hood, the valve cover plastic piece, go over everything, and then test drive. Right, guys well it's been off and on since that last clip uh, I've been having a lot of responsibilities to take care of at the house so I had to take care of those things before I can get back over here and now that I'm back it's kind of cold outside it's in the 50s so that's typical panhandle uh, you know weather but we are here now to take care of the couple issues and I've already taken care of one one was the oil cooler feed and return line was hanging a little too close to comfort for the uh, drive belt assembly and I have these clamps that I installed right there and I mounted them to this separation separation plate right here for the air intake and now that is out of the way of the drive belt assembly and I don't have to worry about that rubbing at all and uh, taking out that hose so that's taken care of 
and I got a check engine light for bank two sensor one. I have the after cat sensors uh, deleted on the DME, but I am not getting a reading at all on the uh, bank two sensor one. So I started doing some research on that and it looks like I have the connector in the wrong place. So I'm gonna have to take the cover off, swap the connector around, put my scan tool on it and ensure that I'm getting a reading and the check engine light is gone altogether. And I notice also on the uh, sending unit for the fuel gauge, I added fuel to it, it did not move at all. So that is not a priority right now. I can take care of that later. Right now my main concern is making sure everything is working properly uh, as far as check engine light and everything. I don't want no codes, no, no nothing like that. So it's just tedious little things that I have to go over and make sure that everything is good on the car before I go out and start driving it. I don't want to chance any things. And something critical as an O2 sensor that plays with uh, cylinders four, five, and six as far as fuel trim goes is a no-go. We want to make sure that that is properly working before we go out and uh, drive this thing because you know I put a lot of work and effort into this and I'd hate for something to go wrong and then I'll be back to square one. So let's go ahead and take care of that and see if we get a reading on the, uh, the scan tool and uh, we'll carry on from there. Right, guys so it turns out that was a problem I had it plugged in the wrong spot I had I had it plugged in down here but basically this is bank one sensor one bank two sensor one and these are the after cat sensors and I have those deleted from the DME so it was plugged in the wrong spot but now we're good to go I'm gonna have to re tuck this wire into the rail and clean that up I just put it like that just to make sure that the problem did go away which it did and if you look at the top right here you have bank one sensor one voltage it cycles up and down from like 0, 0.0 to 0.8 and then bank two bank two sensor one voltage doing the same thing right there so good to go this thing cycling like it's supposed to no check engine light good to go i'm gonna button this thing all back up and finally we'll be able to take this bad boy on its first test drive conditions let the uh, the bearings and everything settle you know I did replace the rod bearings and the rod bolts and I did redo the vano so I want to make sure that everything is functioning is functioning as it should 
and just kind of like break the car in, so to speak. But this exhaust. <laughs> I don't know about that, guys. I mean, it sounds good, but watch. Let's get underneath this overpass and watch. Listen to this. that would be just a little bit more muffled would be more of my liking but drive it for the time being so everything seems to be running pretty good for the most part I've been driving it just for a few minutes now and I have no check engine light so that's a good thing the uh, rims that were repaired seem to be holding air just fine and I did make a couple adjustments to the uh, coilover suspension as far as the dampening settings go because they were pretty uneven. I checked, you know, how they were set up previously and the, the front end was kind of mix matched and the rear preload was off. So I went ahead and made sure that I set the whole front and rear to the same settings just so I can get a drive and a feel for it. And at highway cruising speeds, it seems very comfortable. So I'll have to drive it more to get a better feel for it, but I'm pretty happy with the way that it's driving for the most part. And uh, man, pinch me, it feels great that I'm able to finally drive this M3 and have a nice one to be uh, to call my own. So I'm going to go ahead and cruise around for a little bit. I'm going to cruise up to the next town and come back just to make sure that the engine and everything is functioning properly. And uh, you know, I'll get back to you guys here in a minute. guys as far as test drives go this is a success 30 miles no check engine light oil temperature is great and the coolant temperature is right about where it needs to be a little bit before the middle so everything on the car is holding up great granted the gas filler cap light comes on from time to time and goes away so i need to figure that out and also the tpms light comes on because there's no sensors in these wheels i need to get some of those and uh, have that fixed and also the airbag light is on because the module i notice in the back the wire where it connects to the battery was uh, cut so i need to figure that out as well but all in all she seems to be holding up great i don't see any leaks and i'm very happy with the way it feels sorry i didn't get on it a whole lot but it's not one of those videos i wanted to run it through its paces and make sure that everything is going to operate like it should now i'm going to put more miles on it and uh you know work in the rod bearings and make sure everything is going to be good once i put more miles on it then i'll start driving it spiritedly but as right now i got those new new used car nervous feelings where i just want to fill everything out and make sure it properly runs before i start you know ripping and ragging the car out but you know it does rev out to 8000 rpm so i am looking forward to getting that thing up to the red line but first like i said i want to make sure everything is going to operate like it should and not give me no problems down the road so once that happens i'll make another video and i'll show some spirited driving with it but here on the next coming episodes we have the budget case swap that i have right here that is going to be going into my honda hatch now the engine that's in this is smoking so i'm going to be getting this engine out and i'll be i've been gathering up parts i don't have all the parts that i need just yet to uh, make it all happen but i do have the hasport mounts and an integra cross member so i have enough to start 
this project, getting it underway, getting the engine and everything taken out of that car so we can start putting this in. And that's what you can look forward to on the next upcoming episodes. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the E46 M3 build series. Uh, I will include that car more in the future, but it is done as of now. And we're going to be moving on to the Civic here behind me. So lots of content to look forward to on that. So if you guys are here for the first time, definitely subscribe. You new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you guys on the next episode.